All right, in this video, we're gonna be adding whole numbers. It's kind of simple stuff, but what's unique about this video is I'm gonna show you why we carry when we carry, rather than just making up some sort of silly rule about, well, you cannot have two digits in the same place value. So I'm gonna show you why we carry. All right, so for this problem, we have 346 plus 96, and we're gonna model that in our place value chart. And that's going to be our hundreds, tens, and ones. And so modeling that, let's, oh, let's, we're going to do one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. So there is my 346. Now I need to model that 96. So that's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then one, two, three, four, five, six. So there is our 346 plus 96, and whenever we have 10 in a single column, you can cash 10 of those in and for a single one in the next column over, right? 10 littles equals one big. So we can see that we've got six, seven, eight, nine, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. All right, so I can group these 10 together. That gives me a 10 right here. So we end up with 6 plus 6 is 12 right here. 6 plus 6 is equal to 12. There's my 12. So I can cash 10 of them in for a 10. And I have two left over. So that goes right there. And now adding all of our 10s together, I have 14 of them. And if you don't believe me, 1, 2, 3, 4. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So there's my 14, which means I can have a brand new 100. That's what this one is way up there for. And I have four left over in the tens column. And taking a look at that, what that looks like uh, pictorially, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So I can circle these 10 tens equals 100. And that's what's going on over here. And then lastly, I see that I have three hundreds plus 100. That's four hundreds, and that's nice and tidy right here. So the answer is 442. Now, obviously, do we need to do all this work over here? No, we don't need to do all this. I just want to show you what what's going on algorithmically that makes all of this make sense? Or make What's going on over here that makes all of this make sense? Um, we, we need to make that algorithm make sense. So a slightly larger problem, we got 1,374 plus 458. So I've got my place value chart over here, and I've modeled my 1,374. And you'll notice this time the dots are going up and down. That's because I didn't have space in the place value chart. So it's okay if they go vertical or horizontal. Or in this case, I'm doing both, aren't I? And then I've got 458 down here. And I know that 4 plus 8, 4 ones and 8 ones, that's going to give me 12 ones, which means I can cash in 10 of those ones. Remember, 10 littles equals one big. So I'm gonna end up with two in the ones place and one brand new one in the tens column. And then I see that I've got seven right here, I've got five right here, so that's 12, plus another one here is 13. So remember, 10 littles equals one big, so I can cash in 10 of my littles. 10 of these tens gives me one hundred. So we end up with three in the tens place and a brand new one in the hundreds place. Three in the tens place and a brand new one in the hundreds place. And then I can see I've got three hundreds, four hundreds, and then one. So that's eight hundreds all together. Nothing gets regrouped. So I can just model the eight right there. And then I have just one lonely thousand way over here, and so that is why the answer is 1,832. And, and parents and teachers, this is why, or how we can model why that carrying makes sense, because a simple rule, 10 littles equals one big. You can cash in 10 littles 
for one big next door. 10 littles gets cashed in for one big next door. And the idea is you can layer on top of that the appropriate academic language. 10 ones gives me a 10. 10 tens gives me a 100. And that wraps up this video on adding and why we carry.